At this year's Super Bowl halftime show, Rihanna made her stage comeback after five years away with a straightforward reminder of her skills. Rihanna's performances were spectacular, as she moved quickly through her hit songs in an unsurprisingly unadorned manner. It demonstrated how charisma and constant delivery were crucial for staying strong while she was focused on her music. She performed her brief 12-minute show in front of dancers and a backing band, despite rumors that guests could join her. The pop star turned beauty mogul will not earn any money for her performance in this year's Super Bowl, and it's not because she's a billionaire, according to Forbes magazine. During the 2019 Super Bowl, Rihanna publicly declined the offer to perform as the halftime show's headlining act, informing Vogue that she did so in solidarity with former quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who was suspended from the NFL for taking a knee to denounce institutional racism and police brutality. I just couldn't be a sellout, the pop star said at the time, I couldn't be an enabler. In front of an estimated 190 million viewers, the singer turned beauty took the stage as the Apple Music halftime performer for this year's Super Bowl 57. I felt like it was now or never for me, Rihanna said in an interview a few months ago. The Super Bowl is one of the biggest stages in the world, and it's an entertainer's dream to be on a stage like that. After almost six years away, Rihanna makes her musical comeback during the concert. She released Lift Me Up from Black Panther, Wakanda Forever in October, marking her first single since 2017. This song was nominated for an Oscar for Best Original Song. The 34-year-old singer has stayed caught up during her break from the music industry. Rihanna has grown Fenty Beauty, founded six years ago with luxury goods giant LVMH, into one of the most inclusive and successful cosmetics companies, valued at an estimated $2.8 billion. She also gave birth to her first child in May. Following a $125 million fundraising round in 2017, she also introduced the lingerie line Savage X Fenty in 2018, which was considering an initial public offering of $3 billion. The businesses collectively account for most of Rihanna's estimated net worth of $1.4 billion. Rihanna won't get paid for her Super Bowl performance, as is customary for halftime headliners, so it's good that she has plenty of money. Although top artists like Beyoncé, Bruno Mars, Justin Timberlake, and Lady Gaga don't receive payment for their performances, the program offers significant advantages due to the exposure to a sizable audience. The number of viewers is anticipated to surpass 192 million this year. The halftime show effect, perhaps. According to Billboard, Lady Gaga's album and song sales surged 1,000% when she hit the stage in 2017. Jennifer Lopez received 2.3 million new social media followers after she and Shakira headlined in 2020. West Coast hip-hop icons Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar, Eminem, and 50 Cent performed at the event last year before, giving each of their catalogs a boost. Data from Luminate shows that Dr. Dre experienced an increase in album sales of 183% and an increase in on-demand stream volume of 105% in the week following the Super Bowl. Blige's album sales increased by 999% during that time, while Snoop Dogg's increased by 361%, according to Luminate. Long after the big game, the production received praise, it was nominated for five Emmy Awards. It took home three of them, including the Best Live Variety Special Prize, the first time a Super Bowl halftime show had ever brought home the title. After years from the stage, Rihanna, who already has close to 250 million followers on Twitter and Instagram, performed at the Super Bowl to reconnect with her audience and return to her musical origins. She did show up in the May 2022 music video with her partner ASAP Rocky. It also marks yet another collaboration with Jay-Z, whose Rock Nation appointed Jay-Z to serve as its live music entertainment strategist in 2019 as part of a long-term engagement. The production costs of halftime shows might reach $10 million, just like Super Bowl commercials. A source close to The Weeknd told Forbes that the rapper and producer also spent about $7 million on his show last year. 
In addition, The Weeknd spent $7 million of his own money on the halftime show for the 2021 Super Bowl to ensure that it met his vision. An NFL spokesperson told Forbes that the NFL and Apple Music would likely pay for Rihanna's performance, just like the league's longtime sponsor, Pepsi did in the past. If Rihanna invests her own money in the performance, her representative declines to confirm it. Forbes contacted Rock Nation and Apple Music for comment, but neither company responded. I get involved with every aspect of anything that I do, Rihanna said on Thursday at a press conference ahead of the game. Whether it's the Super Bowl, whether it's a makeup product, whether it's Savage Lingerie. I want to see the copy on the website. I want to name every lipstick that I make, the chief executive officer said. If it flops or it flies, my name has to stand by that. Of course, Fenty Beauty and Savage X Fenty will also probably benefit significantly from this year's Super Bowl show. According to the Arizona Republic, Jay-Z and Desiree Perez, co-chief executive officer of Rock Nation, decided to invite Rihanna. Rihanna did have to give the offer some thought before accepting, said Jay Brown, the co-chief executive officer of Rock Nation and a collaborator of Rihanna since 2005. She performs because she loves to, he said. She gives public performances. She adores her audience. She actually benefits from it in that way. She sees this as an incredible moment and something that will be a lot of fun for her at the same time. What do you think about our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, hit the subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching.